Hey kids, the program you're about to listen to contains some adult situations, adult language, themes, and other adult topics. If you're easily offended, this show's not for you. Be sure to like and follow Crazy Truth on Swing Towns. Swing Towns has been around for 20 years, so they're an established, well-known site with lots of users. So you'll be able to easily find people you're interested in. And unlike other big sites, on Swing Towns, you don't have to worry about being bombarded with messages from people you're not interested in. Because only people you're interested in can message you. And the best part is, you can message those people for free on Swing Towns. Hey, you crazy motherfuckers. Welcome back again to another edition of the one, the only, Crazy Truth. I am your host with the most. I am Cole. And I am here with the lovely, lovely Miss Amanda. Hey. Look at there. There she goes right on cue. We are so excited. We are on, uh, we're, uh, this is episode, uh, yeah, 10. 10, something like that. Good day. Eh? Welcome to day 10. So we'll try to follow along. This is going to be a fun one. Guess what we're going to do today? Talk. We're going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're gonna to talk. We're going to answer the same thing we do every, <laughs> every night, Pinky. We're going to take over the world. We're going to answer questions uh, in our fun and own special sort of way, the way we do things. Okay. Uh, okay. Sound like a plan? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> but we're always going to start with something fun, sex in the news. By the way, I like to come in each sentence really, really loud because I love to watch the expression on our sound guy when I do that. When I start Drives really, 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 really vocally high. There we go. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to start with the, <laughs> the sex story we're going to start with. Tonight. This is like sex and crime in the news. Okay. So let me put this out here to begin with. Remember, folks, we're not lawyers. We're not judges. We're not juries. I'm just saying everybody's innocent until proven guilty. But these people are dumbasses. Okay, so uh, this story is out of St. Paul, Minnesota, here in the Midwest. That's right. David Martinez uh, actually took, and uh, he is a candidate for the St. Paul City Council. That's pretty That's pretty honorable, pretty reverable. Want to serve his community to make it better. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, th- this week, he was arrested and accused of posting a nude photo of a woman online without her consent. That's right. He has violated and is accused, accused of using the revenge porn law. So he's actually taken and posted a picture of a woman online without her permission. And guess what? Yep. Sure as hell. It certainly made the, made the news. So uh, you go, well, prove, you know, innocent, right? It was his wife. Wait, what? It's his wife. It's his, it's, it, it is his estranged wife. They're getting a divorce, and to get her back, he posted nude pictures of her online. Supposedly. Uh, that's supposedly. Uh, but now here's the thing. Before you go, feel too bad for him, because obviously people are saying you shouldn't run for city council. Uh, he's kind of has a, a history, a little bit here, just a scotch. Uh, he is also currently banned from the city libraries. He's not allowed to go to any St. Paul city library because he got ar- arrested uh, and uh, for disorderly conduct, for getting in an argument and refusing to leave the library. So he is banned from any city library. He's now up on revenge porn laws, and but he's going to maintain. He's not going to. He's going to keep going forward. He's, he thinks he's going to win. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that man's got my vote right there. There you go. Who would possibly know? Uh, you know, no press is bad press, I guess. I don't so know. So anybody that posts a picture of you naked so without your consent is breaking a revenge porn law. It, yes, it, it, each city has a little bit different, but yes, it is. Again, that's a big, that's a big, big thing. There's nothing funny about revenge porn, obviously, but yeah, that is a big thing. It's to stop people from trying to target their exes and whatever you know. Like if you if you and I were ever to split up, and we like went on a binge, posting all the pictures on our phones at each other, like trying to get us. In trouble. I mean, no one I would be think surprised. that meant that you missed me. <laughs> <coughs> well, yeah. And you're crying. <laughs> Soften up your tears with my picture. <laughs> the, the problem is, is some places... Some, so yeah, or yeah, jacking yeah, off. Jerking <laughs> off is the best sex ever. The, I think the bigger issue is some of them uh, you can actually take and... Uh, uh, you can actually take and get paid. So there's kind of a problem when if I'm going to humiliate and ruin your life and then I'm going to get paid. 
That's as long as I get part of it. <laughs> well, then that's agreed upon porn. That's not revenge porn. If you didn't know I had the dirty pictures, that would mean then obviously that you were constantly unconscious if you didn't know that I had all those pictures. I'm not going to run for city council, so we should be good. I mean, unless you want to. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, we, we could have, we <laughs> have enough on our plate. We don't need more. That's right. CASBA for city council. Uh, where we support all sorts of new sex laws. You want to do it? Fuck yeah, we're in. And that's that'll be our poster. We'll have campaign signs giving the fling, giving the finger all the way over. Where's my camera? There it is. Giving the finger all the way over. That'll be perfect, right? It's that blue it's thing. It's that blue right thing that's there. going there. Yeah. It's my first day in the studio. <laughs> all right. So obviously that's my favorite part of the show. I love that part. But let's move on, shall we? We've got a plethora of questions to answer uh, or to make stuff up to today. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so the first question, uh, this question comes from one of our listeners. Uh, <laughs> this question is, what is the proper etiquette for moving to the sex part of the lifestyle? This comes from N. What is the proper etiquette moving to the sex part? At like a party? <laughs> yeah, at a party at anywhere. At anywhere. Well, you know, you get enough alcohol. Okay, well, okay. Tend to go a little nuts and start <laughs> stuff. So I don't know. Step one, grab them and zip their pants. What could possibly go wrong? No, okay. Was, here's the thing. I'm trying to ask permission. Part of it is this is not rocket science. People make this shit way too fucking hard. Way too hard, right? Mm -hmm. It's just fucking. It should be sport fucking. It's just fucking. It is what it is, right? So it, this kind of goes down to like simple communication. Here's the deal. If you if you can't do like the old ads where like reach out and touch someone, because well that that's obviously that's obviously wrong. You can't do that. But you know you just it's a simple communication thing. You have to take and you have to let people uh, know that you're you're to the point that you're interested. So it's kind of one of those things that when you're ready, hopefully you've had communication. Hopefully in theory it's sober communication. Because yeah, when you're drunk, there's no there's no. It's just like you know, it you go from like, hey, how's it going? To la, 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 la. you're macking out. Next thing you know, then you you're in a hotel room. But if you're actually trying to have communicate, <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to chime in on that. You don't want to add with that. Yeah, I'll keep my mouth shut right now. <laughs> it's too early. Not if she has a couple shots. Just saying. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so the the thing is, is that. Really, the biggest thing is, uh, and you just got to have communication. You just got to say to hey, people, hey, you know, how about, uh, you know, we've had this conversation. We're talking. It seems like everything's going really, really well. How about we take this to the next level? Do you want to go back to a hotel? Should you go back to my place? You want to go to back room, closet? I don't know. Or, well, I mean, some clubs are play clubs. Or their bathroom can be a play club. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, touche. Uh, we don't highly recommend that one, but just, yeah, that is a possibility. Yeah, I almost <laughs> had to go get somebody out of the bathroom last night. You did. You did. They go, um, there's some, a couple in the bathroom, and they're not coming out. They've been there a really long time. I'm like, um, they were right after me. I'll go get them. <laughs> Wait, I know who these folks are. Hey, <laughs> stop. Time's hey. up. Get out. And then next year, other people that actually want to pee. Just saying. Wouldn't be the first time in that bathroom, I'm sure. <laughs> Wait, what? I know. I've heard it before. <laughs> oh, so it's just rumors. So what you're saying is it's just just what you've heard? No, I've heard both oh. <laughs> and bodies slapping up against the wall. Hey, sometimes you got to pee with vigor. Yeah, it, right. it can happen. So you're talking about if you're out on a, I, I'm not going to use the word date. Because oh, come on. Use the word. No, you know. no, feel free. Use the word date. No, if you're out, <laughs> if you're out at the bar to take it to the next level, yes. The bar or, or, or I, you know, see if event. they're interested, if they're interested in things move that way, say, hey, let's hook up. Yeah. You got to ask. If you're at a house party, though, some well, <laughs> people really wait to get things started because they don't know how to get it started. Yeah. Well, the, OK. The, and that's on a host. OK. So, you know, you got to play the games to warm people up. But, you know, <laughs> pick you don't games have to play games. Well, to warm or up pick activities that will get people naked. <laughs> I mean, if it's just going to be, you know, eventually you have to move things to the to the level of, you know, nakedness. That should take care of itself. But yes, the bottom line with that one is is you have to ask. You just have to say say something. 
Or I get enough drinks, and I'm like, let's get this party started! And no start shit, feeling close all of a sudden, Miss Amanda just goes, hey, yeah. whoop, whoop. Uh-huh. As so, long as a guy follows you, you're good. <laughs> well, you can have a party <laughs> yourself. You never know. That'd be really funny. That'd been fucking hilarious. If you'd been like, let's get this party started, you just headed downstairs, and nobody else would have come down there. You'd have been like, what the fuck? You just I grabbed Wanda. Sat there. No, I'd have pouted. I would have pouted and probably put clothes on and gone home. <laughs> you know, you know, you were tipsy enough. You'd grab one. I didn't. I didn't bring any toys. Th- they had one down there because you used it. I have pictures <laughs> on my phone. Revenge porn. I used it on <laughs> somebody else. Right. You would have pouted seriously. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that meant no one wanted to have sex with me. So I'm like, okay. No, they were all busy discussing their important jobs. All right. Uh, <laughs> We it all well. have important jobs. Oh, we, it, we do. Shh, secret. We're all swingers. Don't tell the neighbors. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. We're going to move on from that question. <laughs> God. Okay. Okay. So this is like a pseudo question. This is this is like a, com- a, a, a compilation of a whole bunch of questions that we get asked all the time. Okay. And all these people are like, how do you, it, it's like. The, so when did you get in the lifestyle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. No shit. What's your name again? Question 101. <laughs> no, the, the question everybody asks is, how do you? How, you know, how do we have a, a, how do you do a threesome? How do you do a foursome? How do you do this? How do you do the proper this? How do you do proper that? We keep getting asked these questions on, like, it's like, is there a right way or a wrong way to swing? No, it's what you create it to be. Well, I, no, I know that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I agree. I knew that answer. Yeah, but I mean, okay, look, here's one of the things that just, I think sometimes, yes, and we talk about it on our show too. We talk about you need to have communication, you need to have rules, you need to have all that stuff, right? We talk about that. Mm-hmm. But I truly believe that people, they, they make this way harder than it needs to be. Like way harder than it needs to be. They, they overthink the whole thing. Look, there is no wrong way to have a threesome. It's not like it's a step-by-step guide that says, you know, uh, insert slot A into, you know, slot B. Follow. You don't have to do it that way. <laughs> oh, you just spit on me. <laughs> You're just no. looking at me like I'm high. Well, no, I, I'm I mean, just listening. I, you know, I mean, people. The 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 thing is, how to have a threesome? Yeah, it's kind of go with the flow, buddy. Well, but that's <laughs> that's all of it. Yeah. The whole thing is supposed to be. It's supposed to just be, go with the flow. I mean, okay. So, what do you need to really know how to swing correctly? You need to have if if you're in a couple or you're swinging with a significant other, you need to have obviously your rules understood, right? Mm-hmm. You gotta have you gotta have your ground rules. Perfect, great, sweet. Other than that. This is like, okay, so what's the best now? I, I officiate weddings on the side, just for fun, because well, as a swinger, why wouldn't you do that? Okay, so I officiate weddings on the side. So you go up to a wedding rehearsal, and these people take, and they try to have this, this like planned out and scheduled out, like minute by minute by minute, how exactly this is going to work. And the thing is, it never works that way. No. Nothing ever works that way. There's no way, there's always going to be something to go up. So if you try to take and have... The evening activity, like, pre-programmed, you know, okay, you may take a drink now, eat an hors d'oeuvre, suck a dick, eat another hors d'oeuvre, eat her pussy. It doesn't fucking work that way. It's not sterile. It's supposed to be just, like, fun and relaxed and, 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 and kind of let it go with where it goes. Some people don't operate that way, though. Right. And, well, I guess some people don't. Some people don't. They don't operate that way, but the thing is, is if you're that uptight, I mean, we all have a natural instinct on how to fuck, right? I mean, as it look, as a general rule, most people, when it came time for the first time for them to have sex, their their body kind of just took over what to do. It was like if you're a dude, all of a sudden it's like, whoa, this one appendage got like hard and stiff. So you kind of just followed it wherever it went to, okay? So when the first time you're having sex, oh, look, she has an insert slot A, and I have, and I have uh, you know, a, 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 a something to stick in there. 
<laughs> okay. So it, it was like, you didn't have to overthink it. No. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you may figure out some things that, that work differently, but this is the same thing. Swinging is supposed to just be natural. It's an extension. So if for some reason, if like, okay, hey, great news. Um, there's six people. There's an odd number of, of guys or gals. You just figure it out. Just work with it. You know, I mean, you don't have to like stop and count and like pair people up. You, it, it's just not rocket science. And I think people try to work too hard at it. Yeah. When we first got in the lifestyle, the very first time when we had the multiple couples. Okay. Remember, for the, those of us that listened to the previous shows, the world's largest nut sack. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So, if you remember, we, we'd never been with two other couples at a, at a time, at one time before. No. I mean, it, it was kind of sensory overload. Shit, we were nervous because we hadn't even been we we'd been with one couple and they weren't really a couple and he didn't give a shit about her. And we didn't know the couple we were hooking up with. No. Or the other couple that we were surprised meeting with. Yeah. But but that was but in the end, grand scheme of things, that was awesome. Because we were meeting in a hotel room and it was like everybody everybody has the same type of nerves, right? They're a little bit like, mm, okay, what do we do? Let's get this party and, started. And then it just naturally happens no one tried to force anything in fact one of the gal with the original couple we were hooking up with was like okay and took her shirt off mm -hmm. and that's how the, and 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 let the melee begin mm -hmm. and so all the time i see this i see this on questions that we get especially when people start talking about like what they perceive to be i don't know if it's like totally new different crazy things but when they they'll, they start talking about an orgy. I mean, okay. Number one, let's face it. How many orgies just randomly break out? Yeah, that's one of the great <laughs> myths. That's one of the great myths of the lifestyle is that every party turns into an orgy. I mean, we've yeah. been to what? How how many orgies? Unless do you think it we've was been a set up to a hotel, orgy. like the one that we were invited to that we couldn't make it. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, par for the course. One of seven in our lifetime. No, but I mean, we've probably had. I would say true in eight years, probably what a dozen max that have turned into like orgy orgy type thing. Most of the time, it turns into couples just squaring off. It, you know, you don't not square. It sounds like it's Fight Club. <laughs> fight! <laughs> <laughs> no, well, but it's it, kind of aggressive. Uh, <laughs> just call me daddy. Uh, so no, but I mean, if you most of the time, it's just couples kind of pairing off in the same room. But a true like. Or do you like massive humanity on the bed? I'll bet it hasn't. Even, I'll, I'll bet it's probably what seven times, maybe eight times. Yeah, if even in eight years, and and we're active. I mean, try to fit one, two, three, four. Was it four or five couples on a king size bed? That was that was that was, that was a lot yeah, of fun. That That's, was, that um, was these DM hotels need to go away from this fucking queen size and in like doubles. Fuck that. That just doesn't work. King size, they need like those California kings, like the special ones. We I still having, don't think you can fit six couples on one of those. We need to still, well, it'd be worth a try. I mean, that it's like shoving people in a Volkswagen. You don't know how many people you can actually fit in one of those son of a bitches until you try. So I think it should be something that every everybody should try at least once. How many how many couples can you actually take and fit on a bed? But that was, those are a blast. Those are fun. I love those. But mm -hmm. they don't happen that often. No. And I think a lot of people, they think that if they do things either right or wrong on the, on the, the steps up the a threesome, foursome, whatever, that it leads to it. And it doesn't work that way. Mm -mm. It, you just got to relax. I mean, yes, you're going to find that most of your hookups, especially with couples, it's really kind of funny. Follow the porn script. You know what I'm talking about? The porn script. Mm -hmm. the, she gives him a blowjob. Mm -hmm. Well, no, 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 no. If, if the girls are possibly interested in each other, the girls are by, the girls start making out first, mm. the guys stand there and rub their crotch, mm, that's hot, and then the girls break, oh, and then they each go over and they fucking start sucking dick, right? Mm -hmm. And then and then the guy licks for like two seconds, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> right? The complimentary, <laughs> the complimentary pussy lick because that's not the exciting part, and then they start to fuck. And that's, I mean, in most couple hookups, that's kind of the order that it goes in. Yeah. A little bit. So there's your challenge. Everybody out there, there's your homework. You need to hook up with a couple and throw everybody in, <laughs> completely off and don't do it in that order. Yeah. Well, that's, that should be everybody's personal goal. 
no matter what, do not do it in the porn order. So, like, in this case, if you're going to have the pizza man come in, instead of when he comes in, fucking him right away, have him come in and eat pizza with him first, and then before he leaves, <laughs> then fuck him. Or, like, if you're going to have the plumber come in, make him actually fix shit first. I just think of the party. <laughs> we go to the hotel parties where We're, the poor pizza kid was delivering pizzas and got poor, his dick sucked. Poor pizza kid, <laughs> nothing. That, that motherfucker... Okay, that You're dude, the one that went, dude, just come back. When I you did. Get off okay. Work. <laughs> okay, I did. This fucking dude came from, he was from a local pizza delivery company that's not one of our sponsors, so we're not going to mention their name. Anywho, he came up for the pre party and he's like, uh, this kid's like 20, 21 years old. He's like a college kid. He's like, what in the fuck? Because he goes and delivers a pizza, and just like we all go, oh, the d- pizza game delivers. Naked people are answering the door, and he's like, holy fucking shit. That motherfucker, we saw him like 10 times before. I'm like, boy, you, you've you come back here a couple times. And he goes, uh-huh. Yeah, he, <laughs> he specifically told everybody there, I'm taking all the deliveries there. And, and people were ordering pizza fucking left and right. Uh-huh. And he took and... and he's delivering every He's room. delivering every pizza. So I, I've had a few cocktails, and it wasn't my party. And I'm like, dude, you know what? If I were you... I go, what time you get off work? He goes, midnight. I said, I don't know. I'd come back at midnight. He goes, fuck Yeah. So sure as shit, we see him like he at like midnight. He's there delivering a pizza again, and he's just got the biggest shit eating grin on his face ever. He wasn't off work yet, and he got his dick sucked delivering a pizza. So then he, he's gone for a little while. Like twenty five minutes later, we see him again. Now he's out of the work clothes, and he is straight up in party mode, <laughs> and he is partying on the floor with everybody, just like he's supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. And he would have got away with it too, but then everybody's drinking pizza. And be like, dude, it's the pizza guy, and he's like, woo, <laughs> dude, you didn't pay for the party. <laughs> yeah. you need to get out. And then they kicked him out. He's like, fuck. But you remember when we threw our party there, the same hotel, Crazy Winter Nights? He was delivering pizzas there again. Yeah, he was there, and he saw us. He's like, we're like, hey, he goes, yeah, it's my night to work, and he was all kinds of jazz because I told him at ours he could come back. I gave him a wristband at ours. Mm-hmm. I'm like, look, dude, you know, hey, whatever. I go, well, you didn't want, yes, I've told everybody it's my fucking place to live for pizzas. <laughs> I opened to run into that shit again. No shit. And he was, he was jazzed when he was like, I don't know if he had as much like at our party or not, but people recognized him. He became like the oh, token yeah. pizza guy. Oh, you can't and, miss him at all. No. Well, dude, that fucking shitty and grin. That kid, I have never seen anybody that does delivery work as fucking thrilled or as happy as he is. Okay, he's 20 years old, and if he lives to be 120 years old, he will never forget the night, the two nights that he delivered pizza to the swinger parties. Mm -hmm. Because none of his friends are ever going to believe him. I promise you they won't believe him at all. They'll be like, yeah, whatever, yeah, huh? Yeah, I bet he took pictures. Because when he, oh, fuck. Dude, he was on his phone leaving. He was texting, when, when he told us he'd got his dick sucked, he was texting somebody telling me he just got his dick sucked delivering pizza. I would. Okay. Fuck, I'm, I'm not even delivering shit. Half the time I get excited when I get my dick sucked at the swinger event. Oh, I'm no, you know dude. vanilla Uber drivers that get their dick sucked. How? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no shit. I'm thinking about becoming Uber driver on the side. Mm-hmm. There's a reason you work those late drunk night shifts. <laughs> uh, true. God. Catch them in the moment. <clears throat> so, see, there you go. See, you don't have to plan anything. All you do is have a pizza. You don't have to plan <laughs> on how to get it right. If you Anybody can swing. I mean, seriously, that's that's the part that is so funny with this. Everybody wants to like make stuff complex. It's not hard. Just follow your dick. <laughs> get a um, hard. I don't have one, and the last time <laughs> I put one on, I shook it. And went, <laughs> that's true. Oh, come, come. <laughs> that, that, I said I was going to get reactions this time. <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> we need to like. You get a strap on, and girls don't know what it's like. So <laughs> you put on this strap on, literally. <laughs> Oh, Lord. And the Here we very go. first thing, you know, they go, what would you do if you were the opposite? What's the first thing you do if the opposite sex? And I went. Yeah. <laughs> and it yeah. just flew side to side. Yeah. She, she just, yeah. And just, that oh, my. That was funny. And giggled and giggled and giggled. I think, and I don't, I can't believe I didn't take any pictures of that. Yeah, that was dumb. Because we told you not to. Yeah, you, yeah, because you both did it. You both did it. You both just went absolutely apeshit with your new penises. And of course, then you were putting lube, and you both put the lube right on the tip and giggled. <laughs> You're like, "Look at me to come, key!" 
fuck. <laughs> we hadn't even been drinking. No shit. <laughs> no shit. You know that's what we should we should do sometime. Hmm. We should get a whole bunch of drunk people. We should get a whole bunch of drunk ladies on our podcast, and we're all gonna give them uh, strap ons that they can ne- have never had a strap used a strap on. Just before. put it on. Just put it on, and then we're gonna tape and see what they do, and we'll, <laughs> we'll air that. And all we'll do is we'll do like a commentary play by play of what they're doing with the strap on. There you go. I'm telling you, they're gonna be walking up, slapping each other in the butt with them. They're gonna be. They're gonna be <laughs> You know, they're going to find their husband to slap their husband in the face. How does it feel? Dunk, dunk, dunk. I mean, it's going to be didn't Bryce. I think of that. And I didn't say it while you guys were using it. There's a reason for that. Thank you very much. I have it back there. I can just go get it and smack you in the <laughs> no, head with it. If, no, it's not the same. If it's not attached to your cooter, it's not the same. I can't take my dick off and just run around and chase you with the house with it and slapping you around with it. Like I slap you with my dick that much anyways. But just saying. I mean, I can't do that. That's not fair. There was times you did when you were way younger. Oh, yeah, when I was way younger. <laughs> that was more laying in bed go, whap! <laughs> Nothing says loving like a dick across the forehead. Thunk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I did that till you flicked it one time. So, yeah. That's just, uh, you know. <sighs> yeah, Dicks. I. We're going to do that. We're going to do that with this, without a doubt. I did. I, I flicked you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll cover that in a I second. I was way younger. <laughs> Ah, what a great place to finish that question with you flicking my dick. Hey, let's take a quick second, shall we, uh, to uh, thank our our, sec- our sponsors for the second half of the show. The American Dream, half concert hall, half gentleman's club, one hell of a party with live music every Thursday through Saturday night and adult entertainment every night. Never a cover, but always a great time. The American Dream, 7402 F Street, Omaha. All right, and we're back. <laughs> I love doing that with the sound guy. He's like, he's, is he going to start talking again? Is he going to talk again? <laughs> driving me nuts. Okay. <clears throat> so I got to, we, we got, now this question is kind of funny because we're a couple. Right. Weird, I know. Shut up. We are? We're a couple. But it, it, this is a, a really legitimate question, and I'm excited. I'm excited to tackle this one. Okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tim. Sent a question. He goes, I'm a single male. Is it even worth the hassle to try to have parties in the lifestyle? Is it even worth the hassle? Now, that's... See, okay, so here's the thing. This is a challenging question uh, for a lot of people. A, a lot of single males. Because, number one, we all know single males kind of get a bad rap. Mm-hmm. Right? Some of it's justified. Some single males are fucking tools. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. But... All singles kind of get a bad rap. We all say that all single females are batshit crazy, and they say that all single males are aggressive tool bags, okay? So, but we know that this is not true, right? Mm-hmm. We've had, we have personal experience with, with this. Mm-hmm. We know that some single males are batshit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and some single females are tools. Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can be. No, but we, we know that that's just a generalization. It's really not fair, but it's a generalization. So we've been fortunate because we are good friends with several different single males that have been in the lifestyle a long time, mm-hmm. a very, very long time, longer than we have. Um, almost uh, like doubles what we have. Yeah, almost double what we have. Pretty damn close to it. So uh, one of the things is obviously as a single male, there is you got to overcome a lot of stereotypes just within the lifestyle anyways, whether it be you want to play with a couple, at meet and greets, the whole nine yards. So the first part of that to me is it's always going to be worth it to have parties or have activities, but you have to establish yourself. You have to get a reputation, the right reputation as a single, whether you're a single male or a single female before you can do anything on a party, really. Mm -hmm. Because even a couple, if you're known as an ass hat as a couple, you're not going to have a successful party. Probably not. Okay. I mean, if you suck, you suck. Not in a good way. But if you suck, you suck, and then so then you're not gonna have parties, okay? So, but if you get a good reputation, especially as a single male, the opportunity is really there. So, how, what do you? What is a good reputation? You as a as a female in a couple that has been known to play with single males on a time or two, really? You're looking a at me like a time confused. or two. <laughs> what do you look for? What makes a good single male to I you? Guess I've done one more than a couple. <laughs> Listen, seven to one. 
<laughs> anyway, what was the question that what? you just asked me? <laughs> what, what, as, as, a, as a married female, a happily married, let's put that in there, happily married female, what do you look for in a single male before you fuck him? Personality. Okay. Duh, that's for number one. Okay. Um, what kind of personality do you like? This is going to be fun. What kind of personality do you like? <laughs> Outgoing. Imagine oh. that. <coughs> really? <laughs> you go for yeah. the you go you go for the really strong type guys, do you? Really? <laughs> you just fucking leave. go ahead. Keep answering. I'm sorry. I'll be quiet now. <laughs> it's because I see what kind of personality you have. And so, okay. So wait a minute. So you're saying the type of personality that I have is the type of personality you go for in in single males? No, not all the time. Usually it's the exact opposite. <laughs> I was going to say, exactly. Okay, so you look for more of the quiet, calm, rational personality, right? <laughs> I don't know what kind, I go for. Kind of like the Dayton type. <laughs> I'm just, okay. No, I'm fine with you. No, okay. <laughs> but you... <laughs> you you okay so you look for you personality you look for somebody that you you connect with well yeah there has to be some connection right but it's okay so ish i like a guy that's not afraid to go talk to me <laughs> he almost spit water <laughs> that'd be twice okay. in a row <laughs> that'd be quite a okay so you want you want somebody that's going to talk to you it's well, going to be yeah. personable okay okay so what else what else <laughs> what is as, as as long as they, as long as they, they talk to you, that's all that matters. You got to be careful with this because remember we're gonna. I'm like listen. going. How am I gonna answer this because I don't know how much I want. <laughs> Great news, everybody! <laughs> all you got to do if you want a chance with Miss Amanda, just walk up and say hi. Once you start talking to her, it's game on. No, we you would be able to carry a conversation. Okay, so you, okay, so you want somebody that can carry a conversation, but you don't want somebody that's like like grope, 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 grope right off the bat. I mean, eventually you want to be groped. That kind of goes with the territory, but. Yeah, don't be overbearing. Yeah, you're not you're not aggressive. You're, I'm, <laughs> well, she can be there. <laughs> a couple, couple cocktails in, you never know. No, you should see the honey do list. Shit gets really aggressive. No. <laughs> yeah, but but I mean no, <laughs> but you're not aggressive. For the most part, no. No, okay, but you want to you you don't also don't want to have to tell the guy. You don't want to have to lead him around. You're not a, like a dominatrix. <laughs> oh mommy <laughs> yeah, no. yeah you should see that with laundry it's a totally different story okay <laughs> you can tell you get pretty you, you get pretty strong willed with me i can you can but that's not what you, you want a happy medium in a guy yes Okay. Don't be overly aggressive. Don't be a pain in the butt. Don't <laughs> follow me around like a lost puppy. And just be yourself. So no stalkers. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Well, we've, uh, we've seen it all. So that makes sense. Okay. So if somebody's like that, if a guy's like that, that's going to give, obviously, you're going to warm up to them more. Right. Okay. So there's, that's a pretty common key. See, the neat thing is you're, what you look for in a guy is pretty common with what most, I, I get to hear any females go, I want a guy that's going to walk up and just take and, and start, you know, groping me and be a creeper and be, be, uh, you know, all over the place. They, that's generally what they want. They want people that can carry on a conversation, but will also come talk to you. Because that's a huge thing. Single males, you're going to get a horrible reputation if you take and all you do is stare from across the room and be like, huh, huh, hi, you know, if you can't come up and talk. Right. <laughs> so is that what this person needs to be to have house parties? Well, no, but they, they need to get established. We have single male friends that they are very personal. They've, they've established themselves as almost identical to what you described as that type of a single male. Mm -hmm. Right. And so their reputation is known as being somebody that is outgoing, personal, 
but but respectful all the way across the board mm-hmm. right so that's number one so if you get that type of a reputation then step two once people know that you're a cool person they're going to invite you to their parties mm-hmm. okay once you're able once you have proven yourself in multiple set set la situa- Setting, yeah. settings yeah. that you can jump in at any time settings that you're that way. When you go to host your party, people are going to feel comfortable coming. Now, initially, yes, like our friend, he, when he first started his parties, he has two a year. When he first started his parties, they started off very, very small, like 10 to 15 people, mm-hmm. a small, a small gathering of people. Okay. But what he proved to everyone, he showed everybody was that he was a great host of a party made sure people were having fun, made sure that everything was going good. There was no issues. There was no problems. People were being treated respectfully and everybody had a good time at his parties. Then what happens is that reputation coupled with his own personal reputation continued to grow. So that then there became more and more people wanting to come to his parties. His parties mm-hmm. became really, and they are now, they are like the must, they're like a must attend event every year. Everybody wants to go to bone stock and everybody wants to go to Noma Palooza every year because they're a must attend event because everybody knows that he puts on the greatest parties ever. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, there's always, you always, there's always reasons to continue to have a party. You have to try. If you don't ever have a party, you're not going to get invited to a lot of them as a single male until, no. until you're known. I mean, I, people just, or there's going to be a limited number of parties that you're going to be invited to because a lot of hotel takeovers and a lot of house parties will have a set number or a ratio. Hell, hell a lot of swing clubs won't even allow single males in. True. So you, you have to take and have, you know, you have to be someone that people want to come to their parties that you're a good time. You're, you're, you're fun to be. You're right? a good time. You're, you're a party. Uh, but the biggest thing is don't try to go out and start off with this huge, this huge party. If you try to go off right off the bat and start with throwing this monster bash and it's out of control and it goes south, something bad happens at the party. Somebody gets too drunk, you know, it's, there's drama, whatever the case may be. Even if you're a couple, that's going to hurt your future parties. Mm-hmm. But if you're a single male, that is going to put you dead in the water. Mm-hmm. like on the spot there there's it is what it is there's just no way to recover from that so you have to take and work to build that reputation show people you're a good host that's the biggest thing i mean our buddy is a hell of a host mm-hmm. to say the least oh, definitely you've done some things at his parties oh, just a little just, just, just. <laughs> you want to share some 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 good good party things at his uh single male parties they're not single male party. <laughs> well, not anymore, but I mean, they're still hosted by a single male. Yeah, they're hosted by a single male. He comes up with some great things all the way through. He fucks cream. He fucks a pie. We don't have to do that either. You don't have to be extreme. You have a but... bomb pop <laughs> thing. <laughs> Trampolines at parties are a huge plus. You can do all kinds of fun stuff on a trampoline. Just saying. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I got a cold. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm looking over. I'm trying to get cues and make sure I'm not coughing and spitting all over the microphone. Anyways, so okay, so if you're going to host a party in general, let's talk about this for a second. Well, okay, so actually, if you think about it, there's one guy in this town, okay, single male that keeps putting that he's having a <laughs> a party. And he would like couples, singles, whatever, to come. No one knows who the hell he is. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And everybody's like, who is this guy? I'm like, I'm obviously a single male that wants to host parties. Um, but no one wants, no, I don't believe anybody's gone. I don't know no. for a fact. No. Yeah, so the, the uh, yeah, there's no one has gone. In fact, we've had people get a hold of us to try to, what do we know about him? Yeah. And, and here's the thing. The guy might be a really nice guy, but if you're not known, then people are not just going to randomly go go to your house. They're just not going to do that. Mm-hmm. And now, because he's been plugging it so hard, he he is just pushing party, 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 party versus like, like every going weekend, to it's like- yeah versus going to meet and greets and getting him and introducing himself. 
Now he's just coming across as a weird fucking creeper. Mm-hmm. And and what he's happening is now guess who's not getting any invites into the parties. <laughs> <laughs> weird weird imagine that yeah all right so there you go if you're a single male keep the faith keep hosting parties to get yourself known but we're covering a lot of stuff fast today mm-hmm. i don't know we're gonna switch gears i'm not gonna ask a question i don't want to ask a question i don't want to answer any more questions <laughs> that look is awesome here's what i want to know it's summertime and miss amanda see we need to know more about us what is your Favorite, favorite thing that you've ever done at a party since we've been in a lifestyle. <laughs> it doesn't have to be sexual. Maybe you tried a great dip or something. I don't know. <laughs> what's the favorite thing? What's the favorite? What's what's if you top top ten? You know, you're like you're one of your top five things that you've done at a party since we've been in a lifestyle. <laughs> Holy crap! Seriously? Yeah. Top ten? Like well, I've just, done no, just, so much at parties. No, just I mean, pick ones. One thing in your top top ten or top five things you go that was memorable as fuck, and I was all in. That was fun. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm usually known as the first one naked. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> you are usually the first one naked. No, there's one person in Iowa that beats me. <laughs> that's and that's true. okay. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So being the first one naked. Okay. So the bomb pops. You've had the. We've had. I the won't bom- forget it. It wasn't my favorite. It was. <laughs> the bomb pops were fun though. But let's let, let's face it. You're getting fucked by a bomb pop, and then a guy or a person licks you to warm it up. That's true. And and where you don't like the cold. But you know the highlight of that was it was a trampoline. It was on the trampoline. Trampoline sex has to be one of my top ten. The first time I had sex on at again, it was at a bone sack party. The first time I had sex on a trampoline outside, that was that was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. That that was definitely a top ten. I thought I'd fucked a lot of places until I fucked on a trampoline under the stars. <laughs> but you're really you're really aware of where the spring things are. Oh yeah, because well, you you, you you don't want to get a pecker caught in the spring. That's kind of weird. That just <laughs> Why no? Well, Why it, that and learn how to fuck with other couples on there. Fucking on a trampoline with six or seven other couples is totally different than fucking on a bed. You think? The whole thing's bouncing. Well, I, that's just it. You're trying to get this multiple rhythm, and there's always some jackass right in the middle who's totally throwing the whole thing off. They go into, like, you're just starting, and they go into jackrabbit mode. And so everybody else is like a cartoon thing, like bouncing across the fucking trampoline and stuff. So you got to get, everybody's got to get in sync. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like synchronized fucking. We should have an actual event like that. That'd be pretty good. That'd be, yeah, I'm in on that. I'll make a note of that somewhere. Okay, so so you're gonna say what are you gonna say? Top top five, top number one thing you remember? Is it trampoline sex? Um. <laughs> well, yeah, trampoline sex. Um. <laughs> well, I don't know if his favorite things to do, just memorable things would memorable. be, you know, having to be a newbie at a party and having to suck a pie off somebody's dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're a newbie. And it was cold. Yeah. It was cold and rainy. That's right. But you jumped right up there. Well, I wouldn't. I didn't hesitate. No. And you had not been drinking. No. No, you were not shy at all. You went right up there mm-hmm. and, and did that. Now, having having been with the guy that has fucked the pie at one time, that is that is a degree of intimidation like, like none other. You think that you're a dude... Yeah, you know what? You stand in front of 100, 100 150 people <laughs> and whip your dick out and try to fuck a pie. It ain't going to get hard. I don't care how many fucking pills you've taken. It just doesn't get hard because you're just embarrassed as hell sitting there. You're just fucking this pie and you're like, mm, okay. And, and, and then when the fluffers come up, you're like, thank God. Yeah. The girl melee. The girl melee. Oh, the girl melee. Oh, yeah. At the yeah. one hotel party. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's a top. Who started it? <laughs> and our fearless leader, man. And see people say that I'm the wild one. If you notice, most of our best stories at parties start with you leading the charge. The <laughs> it's true. It does. Yeah. You're, you're, you're really more adventurous. You are. Here's the deal. Everybody goes, that you're the shy one, but you're really the one that's more adventurous. You do, you do it every single time because you're the one that like you, everybody, you start getting there like, come on everybody. And then everybody just automatically follows you. You're like a short yeah, pie they piper. Do. Yeah. I, everybody follows me. Yep. 
It's a, it's a ton of fun. It's Amanda. What, what, what could go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong with this? All right. So, all right. I've got homework for all of our listeners. And this is what we want. We want people to email in to us one of their, what they've considered their top five, one of their top five things that have happened at a party, hotel party, whatever. That's what we want. And then we'll read them on the air. We can have a whole, we'll do a whole show of people's stories and their top, their top most memorable things that have happened to them. Okay. I think that would be fun. So here's what we want you to do. Send us your email. Send us your email to crazy.casba. That's K-R-A-Z-Y dot casba, K-A-S-B-H, at gmail.com. And make sure you send us any other questions, but also send us your stories. That's going to be the thing. We want to hear your stories uh, that are uh, about different things that have happened at parties and events, whatever. It's going to be great. All right. I also want to take a quick second here now. We want to thank our sponsors again for the show. Uh, we want to thank swingtowns.com. Register today for free. Uh, that's www.swingtowns.com. Make sure you put that you were referred by us at Crazy Truth. And we also want to thank the American Dream, always one hell of a party, 7402 F Street in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, we appreciate it all the way through. And don't forget to follow us on we've got to get ready here we go we got a whole list of them make sure you follow us on youtube uh at our casba channel you can also be a part of our facebook page which is crazy truth K K R A Z Y k-r-a-z-y truth uh you can follow us on twitter that would be at truth crazy i really got to figure out how to change that uh you can also find us on Instagram, uh, we are crazy underscore Casba on Instagram. You can also take, and if you like what we're talking about, you like our shows, uh, and you want to help support us, feel free to become a patron. You can actually go to our Patreon, www.patreon.com backslash crazy Casba. Again, that's capital K R A Z Y, capital K A S B H. With that, Doing it the only way. <laughs> I can't even do it right today. Doing it the only way I know how. The only way I want to. Casba style. Out. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs>